had to work with was their their language, their stories, their country, um, but their attachment to their country so And I can only say I I only ever felt welcome. Yeah. Um, by those people, and in particular, I had the well, I had. Um, uh, Bobby Jimmerja, who was my groundsman, so he was employed by the department. The first town we hit was Tennant Creek. Mm -hmm. And in Tennant Creek, there was the Piggy Wiggy supermarket. <laughs> and it was fantastic watching the kids work out that that's what that language says on the shop sign. And it was hysterical for them. Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> So a lot of I did, what, what I did, we'd have stories like the stories the kids would tell or we'd make stories up about whether it was making lemonade or, or little Morris falling out of the boat or yep. um, when we were doing numbers in the river yep. and they'd have to guess what the number was. Yep. Um, but I'd create written um, on cards, flashcards if you like, but I'd also have them hanging in the environment like we'd make trails around the school ground. So we'd go on walks around the place and we'd play I Spy. And of course we'd play I Spy in language, but also in, yeah. in English. Yeah. Um, and we'd do maths, you know, the, the, the same. Music was one I remember, like the the, the Wiggles. Um, oh, yeah. They quite like the Wiggles, and so we we again the words we just you know we print them out, put them in the classroom, and then try and have some language words, their own language words. Mm. Attached, but it was it was repetition, it was exposure yeah. to English, it was using song, yeah. family, um, place, you know, location, um, yeah. and and. Uh, acknowledgement of, of the spirit world, I guess, too, like the, whether it's the dreaming story or yeah. um, 